everyone welcome back welcome to the part six of our little series of how to alter a file folder so lovely to have you back here with me i've seen such amazing pictures um, and you've shared such a lot of what you're doing it's been absolutely heartwarming for me so thank you ever so much also so appreciative of all the lovely comments and likes and support you've given me in this little series so i hope you're having lots and lots of fun i sure am especially reading your um, feedback. So keep it coming. Right, so we are doing part six, as I said, um, and let's just have a really five second overview. We've done that there. We've done the uh, inside page over here. Um, and we are just about um, complete with this section or we've done this bit over here. So that's completed. Um, and what we want to tackle today is this little bit over here. So that's the project for today. Then we will just have that to do and I will complete it all. So after this, there's just one more. So I hope you're not getting that feeling when I get, when I watch a series on TV and I know I'm at the last episode and I feel all, all withdrawn. Don't get that feeling. We'll think of something else. All right. So this is today's project. Um, I will put this aside here quickly. Um, and we can get on with what you need to start this off. Right, so I've got an envelope over here. And I've been a bit slack because I haven't measured it yet. Um, this envelope is 21 or just shy of 22 centimeters. Um, and if you're working in inches, is not this ruler. I have to take the bent one. Um, it's about in between eight and a half and eight and three quarters in inches that way. And in inches this way, we're looking at just shy of four and a quarter and four and a half, somewhere in between there. Um, and with the centimeters, you're looking at a width of 11 centimeters. Okay, remember, you don't have to use exactly the one that I use. This is very similar to a mailer and you could use a mailer because we're going to cover over the window it doesn't matter if it has a window or not some of the mailers don't all right so what i've done here is this time your flap needs to be on the right hand side so bear that in mind and on the opposite side what we want to do is to take your ruler and um, make a very thin take a very thin sliver off here so oops there we go so it's ever so thin and that's job done so we have now created our opening for our tags to go into all right um, and then you can see i've got some lines on the front here and what i've done is i've taken the 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 length of my envelope and i've divided it into three even parts now it depends on the envelope that you have um, i'll just measure and tell you mine is uh, 72 millimeters or it will be just short of three inches if I had to convert that. But obviously it's going to be different for yours. So have a look and see what it is that you um, are going to use. All right, so that's the first thing. Now, the reason I've drawn these three lines on here um, is because this is the stage that I'm actually going to stitch down there. I didn't stitch over my picture. I stitched this before so it's just a case of stitching down those two lines right there um, and that's going to give us our three little pockets for our tags all right so I'm going to do that really quickly and I'll meet you back here just in a second literally all right so we're back um, and there we have done that now like I always say to you aunt, if you don't have a sewing machine what you can do is just lift up the flaps Draw the line on the inside because you have cut open that area and put a, a, a bead of glue down the two sides. And that's going to work as well. All right. So just be mindful of that. Um, there are always other ways. So. Right. What I'm going to do now is I want to put in those thumb notches over here with my uh, circle punch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick on the back paper, first of all. So that's what we're going to do now bear in mind we don't want to go over that area there with glue because you won't get your tag in so you do want to just run a very thin bead of glue at the bottom hopefully i've got this the right way we'll know now 
yes I do luckily uh, and then again I'm going to do that over here and then fill the rest up with glue so that will be pretty easy bearing in mind you don't want to exceed that that sort of line there too much <laughs> otherwise you are going to glue it and not get your tag in Okay, so now we can just put that, bearing in mind that's going to be the right way, so that's going to be the right way up, so just make sure you get that um, right before you plaster it down and line it up with the edge here as high as you can, just to reinforce that um, flimsy envelope paper. Okay. So there we have it and hopefully I haven't stuck that bit down that I didn't want to. As I said I'm going to put um, something over there so we're not going to worry about that at the moment. All right so now I can see from the underside uh, where I can where I need to position my thumbtacks and so I'm going to go straight through all the levels so I'm just eyeballing it here um, and that looks about right. Oops. So we want to do three of those. <laughs> Jumping all over the place. Dog's having a fit. Um, okay, so there we've got our three, just like that, in place. Um, and now with the top, um, what I want to do is... It's not easy what if you put the paper um, on and obviously if you're not going to stitch this you don't need to do this you could just put both pieces on and um, make your notches but because I am going to stitch this and make my life difficult um, I am <laughs> going to do this so match it right up to the front like that now you could stitch it once you have um, Uh, done that but obviously I can't stitch around here with uh, the paper because I'll sew across the openings so what I'm doing is I'm just matching up the paper here on that side I'm just to hold that in place with my little bull clip and this side as well just like that and now I can see where the other notches need to go so I'm just going to marry those up like that. Oops, I nearly pressed in the wrong place. Okay, so there you've got them in exactly the same place now. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just release these quickly. I will do a little stitch around there. You don't need to. You can just glue that down. If you were not going to stitch that, it would have been fine just to glue it down. The only thing is that your punch might take serious strain going through all those layers. So perhaps you want to consider that. But obviously the call is your own. So I'll see you back in a second. I'm just going to do a little bit of stitching around the, uh, the edge here decoratively mind you and I'll see you back here very shortly okay so here we are I have now stitched all around there um, just a little support um, there but with all the paper that you're going to have up at this front at this edge here um, it's not really it's more a decorative thing more than anything okay so I have done all of that and now we can stick that down that front bit um, and going to just run the glue all over here I was um, enjoying reading the comments about everybody and um, felt so much better knowing that I'm not the only one that likes to hoard packaging and that you've trained your family members to um, collect and be on the lookout for exciting things um, to contribute to that um, amazing art collection of opportunity that we see when we <laughs> we look at packaging 
yes we definitely are um a different class of person to see the opportunity in things that most people end up throwing in the bin aren't we but yeah to me i like the challenge of, of creating something with it right so carry on doing those good things right we just want to match this up now um to the notches that we've made um like that um, and before we press it down, just make sure you're happy with where it's lying. So I'm quite happy with that. Okay, just make sure this is all lying nice and snug. And can you see we've hidden the stitching or whatever you would be doing underneath. So it, it's not going to deface from that image at all. Now I do have this little bit here that doesn't have anything on. And what I've done is I've taken a scrap from um, the page that we used to cut out the tag, the big tag on the very front with the yellow daisies. And I said, hang on to these scraps. So that's where I've taken that from, right over there. Oh no, at the bottom here. So that's what I'm gonna use. Um, and I have just stitched around there to match up and I'm going to just uh, put that over there just to cover that area. And I quite like this numeral this vintage ledger numeral thing going on here so just going to stick that down just to cover that bit of the envelope because it was just a little bit too much for my liking and i don't want it to um, be an eyesore i tried inking and other things but you know you can do whatever you choose but this is just a suggestion on my side so there we go oh <laughs> one of the notches just fell down um one of the v's that was stuck in my hair <laughs> okay so there we go you would it, it just looks part of the program doesn't it so we're all good there okay so that side's done and that's really pretty image i love that okay so we're going to turn over now um and we are going to decorate the little back area and what i've got is two of these little pockets that I have taken from the kit and um, just check on the size envelope you have that it's going to fit and if not you can always resize them if you're not sure how to resize I do have a link for how to resize your digitals in the description box that I did before so you can have a look there and work with that now remember I said we're going to move this further down like that um, I see I've got a little bit sticking out here, so I just want to get a bit of my daisy um, paper. Um, so I'm just taking a piece of that and I'm going to just cut off a little bit of that just to cover up that area because I don't want any... Um, sticking any white or cream sticking out so i'm going to just stick that down there like that because the page was just ever so slightly um too wide um it was a bit of a, a problem that okay so we've covered that up um you're not really going to notice it by the time i've done everything here anyway Okay, so we can now stick down our pockets. You can make your own pockets from any paper, you see. Uh, there we go. And then I'm just going to stick that down there and just move it a bit forward and down there like that okay so there's the one and then we're going to just gauge it this is the halfway mark pretty much so i'm going to just stick that one down over there like that okay so we're nearly done with this little segment Right, so just the trick is to get this straight. Like 
that. Okay. Right, so we've got that bit done. Now it's just a case of um, putting everything into the pocket so that we are done, which won't take very long at all. Okay, so on the front, um, you might want to put a word, you might want to decorate it with some of those daisy sayings or something. Um, what I've done is I have got the three tags, so we'll have a look at those quickly. Um, I have made these slightly larger from my kit from the kit so you can make them on the percentage scale or however many you choose to do so you can do that and then I have just um, I think this one goes in the middle uh, so that one no not that one this one sorry uh, so we've got that one in the middle and I've decided I'm going to leave them out um, a little bit because I thought that just added to it. So then I'm going to put this one over here. Oops, just like that. Just match that up. And then before I, sh I put this one in, um, all I've done is I've backed them onto card, stitched around it. I've taken a little bit of vintage lace there, threaded it through an eyelet. Um, you don't have to use an eyelet. You can just punch a hole and put a, a hole reinforcer there. And I've tied a little bit of um, seam binding on there, but ribbon would work well as well. Isn't that a pretty picture? Look at the ladybirds. All right, so this is going to slide into our last little compartment like that and I'm just lining them up here just to make sure they're all out the same amount I think that's right so I've just put three different colors on there and there you've got that component ready on that side now it's just a case of filling these up with bits and bobs that you 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 want to so bits of ephemera so we've got um, a little card I've got these two, which I thought I'd stick in there. Um, and then I've got another little piece of ephemera from that kit, which is going to go in here. And then just another two little bits that I'm putting in over there. So you can put in whatever you like. All right, so there we've got that component already done. So it's coming along really nicely. Um, right. So we'll get on to the last one okay. now. So this is the little ephemera holder that I've made that is going to go into your little um, altered file folder. And this you could use um, in with anything. It's lovely to have this even as a gift um, separate to this altered file folder. If you send this along with a journal that you've made, this would look uh, this would do the job really well or just happy mail. So let's just have a look. Um, Again, we're going to use two envelopes and I'm going to give you the details in a minute. So we've got that on the front. We've got a really lovely image on the back. We've got pockets on the in the side here for the bigger pieces like postcards. And then we've got these sort of um, pockets to store your various sizes of ephemera as well. So that's what we're going to make really quickly. And I'm going to show you how I did this. All right, so we are again we're going to be using some envelopes. I'm just going to move that over there, um, and you're going to need big envelopes. Now, I'm not going to give you the sizes of these because, in fact, I'm going to trim this down. But the trim down size, and I've drawn around here, is really um, taking one of these pieces of paper. So, for example, when I printed this off. Um, it was twice the size really and I didn't want to exceed the height of this and um, so I'm going to I've taken two envelopes that I've had um, that I haven't really used much and again this is a great opportunity to use something you've received in the mail now these ones have this kind of a flap but it doesn't matter just as long as the two are going to be similar sizes you're going to try I'm going to trim these down anyway so look for something you can reuse I've just had these for a very long time and not been able to use them much but this is going to be what I use them for right so I've got two of those 
um, and the size of my page here is like it comes off the printer which is 21 centimeters um, by 13 and a half and if I look at that quickly with the other ruler we're looking at uh, eight and a quarter by five and in between a half and a quarter all right so that's what it is i'm not great with inches everyone so i try my best okay so what i'm going to do is um first things first we want to trim this down so when you do that um we're going to we're going to join these envelopes up so we're going to have one like that and i'm going to have one like that so just be mindful that you keep the flaps to the center um, so I'm just going to open the flap up. Um, effectively, I'm taking the paper, I'm lying it on my envelope here, and I've drawn some lines there, and I'm going to cut that off right there. So that's what I've done. Um, and I just want to grab my knife, um, and this one I will cut off straight down like that. And I might be able to use that for for something who knows so <laughs> this is why I have so much stuff right and then I'm going to cut that off straight across there don't worry about cutting the bit of the flap off that's fine okay so there's the one and I'm going to do the same to the other as well so I'm just going to line these two up so remember the one's going to go like that the other one's going to go like that and this is a good time to join these two together. Right, so we're going to just join at the bottom here. You can see I'm lining that up there and close that, turn it over. And because the other side's loose, I'm just having a look here and matching it up with a fold line at the top like that. And that is the ticket all right so i think there we go we've matched that up there don't um allow this to bend so just a smidgen past the fold line would work okay so again i'm going to just put my ruler on the top there and this is a great way, even if you've got two envelopes that aren't quite the same size, so they might have come from the mail or something that you've had in your stash, um, you can just make them the same size like this. And then you can always glue um, what the area that you want to close so that they're all stitch, you know. Right, so there we have it. We've got two that are the same size. Um, and now what we're going to do is we are going to just join those up with the flaps. Um, it's always tricky because you've got loose bits flapping around. So again, just there and there like that. Now you can move this flap down, open it up um, to stick this one onto that one. Okay, so again... Just be mindful of that. Um, and then I'm going to just take my glue stick and I'm going to run that all over that. And I'm going to stick it straight down onto this one. So there and there. And don't be like me and take too long about it because the glue will dry. Right, so we're going to do that and we're going to stick that right down like that. So there's that side. Um, and now what we want to do is we just want to stick down that flap at the top here as well. So just this side over here. Like that. And then line that up with the base over here. Make sure it's lying flat. Okay, we don't want to do anything else because this is going to be a pocket and we will be covering that over. Okay, and then do exactly the same on the other side. Lift this flap up 
oh sorry lift this whole thing up and then just run the glue um, use your glue stick I don't like to waste expensive glitter glue um, so I'm going to use the glue stick in the middle and I'm going to use uh, this on the end just to make sure that it's not going to catch with the other and then I can just lie that back down okay be careful for paper cuts <laughs> all right so there we have that there okay now um again you just want to take this end here and run some glue just to close the top area so not too much and we'll just get that lying smooth so there we go okay so that's great we've got our little um booklet covers sorted and we're going to have some pockets on the side again if you don't have um envelopes you could just take two sheets of paper uh, glue it in the middle and the sides and do the same thing you don't have to have an envelope all right so just take two pieces of paper lie them on top of each other glue down the center glue down the sides and leave those bits open that's going to work just as well and probably less hassle right what i'm going to do now is i'm going to take masking tape and i just want to reinforce the little spine edge so i just want to run that um from there straight down i like that and cut that yeah i'll tell you um making full use of all the diy store stuff um <laughs> so there we go we've got that there and um you can do exactly the same with this on the outside and that way you really are going to have something that's not going to tear and really be useful for a while okay and if you're wanting to do so you could run that around um, on each side there as you can see with my envelope here it's just blending in you can't even see it's the same color but it is a great um, support for something like this all right so if you're using very thin paper or your um, envelope is really thin I would suggest you run that on the edges as well it's a great um, cheap tool to to use and it's sticky already so now we just want to make sure that this is in the center um, and you want to grab your scoring tool or your knife or ruler or back of your scissors or whatever it is that you have and we will just run that and make sure that our spine is bent in place so there that's going to be really work really well okay so let's go to the front now you're not going to see any of this we're going to cover everything up okay so let's go to the front um, and what we want to do there is we want to um, stick on our front page so that's going to go on just like that and you do want to make sure that you buff it up right to the edge here just so that you don't have some loose bits all right so that's what we're going to put on there um and if you want to stitch it i would suggest you stitch it before you stick it down because you can't go and sew across there that's your opening so i will stitch this before and then the same with the back you're going to stick that on there and again it buff it up to the edge which we'll do when we glue but just make sure that if you want to stitch do it beforehand so I will do that and I will see you back here in a little second all right so here we have it I've just stitched around here it's just to give it a little bit of um, decorative detail um, no need to do that at all um, but we're going to stick that down onto the end of our envelope so um, grab yourself um, a nice good glue and let's just do that quickly make sure 
that the side that you're going to all your edges are really nicely um, covered so they don't lift okay there's the one on the on and we've got that really close to the edge that's going to help support that there um, and now we want to just do the same with the, the back as well and again um, just run that close to the edge I was just wondering if any of you had thought about making any Christmas items yet um, and what you I mean I know people think Christmas is a <laughs> a dirty word in a way um, in that it comes around so fast every year but obviously with us as crafters we need to be thinking about um, projects especially if you're wanting to make some and send them far away or you've got a few people in the family or friends that you want to make things for so I was just wondering how you're all going with that right so that's the front I'll just make sure I do actually have that the right way um, and then of course this is the back and this is the right way so again we want to just match that up with the edge here and the edge here and stick that straight down like that okay Right, so we've got the front sorted and I'm pretty happy with how that looks and now what we want to do is um, we want to stick the closure on so I've got um, two pieces of seam binding I'm going to use for that and I am just going to use my glue and tape to secure that so this one's going to go over here and this one is going to go over here just like that so i'm going to use my fabric tag or three in one beacon and um, just put some glue down there and i'm doing it quite a far way in because i want it to to stay so okay so we want to get it pretty much in the same place so just gauge that and then this side as well just like that and then of course i am just being overly cautious but i'm going to just stick it down with some tape to um, get the middle ready so I'm going to just put that aside for a minute and then what I've done is I have well let me just grab that back for a sec um, I've cut out these two pieces of paper I've printed and cut out the sizes for the various um, panels here so this is going to fit straight across like that just like that um, and I am going to um, stitch around these um, as well. Um, but before I do that, um, I want to put the vellum little pockets on. So it's just a case of um, sizing up your paper. I've decided I want to put bigger pieces of ephemera on that side. 
and on this side I wanted um, a small one for my stamps and, and little tags and I've got another one for uh, not so you know other little bits so I thought well that would work fine you could put more in here as many as you wanted to and that's up to you now you can glue these um, I think I did run a little bead of glue, but I actually did stitch mine over mine. You don't have to stitch over them again. But um, what I'm going to do is, is just take this aside like that. Um, and then I'm going to just stick these down with a little bead of glue um, quickly. And then I'm going to just stitch them just to make sure they are secure for my own benefit so this is just a little bit of glue really little just to keep it in place while I stitch so this one's going to go um yeah that's the right way just checking it's all over so it doesn't matter this one is going to go over here like that and I will just stitch along these three sides if you don't you can just use a really strong glue um, and that will hold as well but I, I have been stitching throughout so I'm going to carry on um, and then I'm going to just do the same here just put a little bit on just to secure it and so this one I'll put at the bottom and this is the wrong way so that's the right way <laughs> the other one didn't seem to have a difference but this one seems to so we'll go with it so there we go we've got that one there and then just this little one at the top for stamps so that can go there there and there and I just want to make sure I've got it straight so I'm going to line it up with that one and that one oops there we go so I've got those in place I'm ready to go okay you might want to put a fourth one on there it just depends on what you're going to put in here if you're putting postcards or various things uh, envelopes or whatever um, you know you might want to do that you might want to not use vellum you might want to use lace or other fabric or anything else other paper so that would work as well okay so I'm going to do the little stitching bits on here and then I will see you back in a minute right. so here I've done it I have now stitched around there and ink that up and then stitched around those two pockets don't forget to go across that one as well so those are all done we can bring back our base over here and um, we just need to now glue that in place so that will then complete our little booklet as well um, so yeah grab one of your glues let's try this one this time um, and we can I will quickly glue this down and on the other side just remember to keep this part open all right so we have got that all down um, we've missed out that bit there so that we can still use this as a pocket so if you have a look here now when you pull that um, you haven't stuck down your actual pocket you can get your whole hand in there and the same on this side as well all right so you can see that there all right so you've you've buffed those up close to the, the edge that's going to give that um, paper some nice reinforcement um, and it's really a very pretty booklet if you're wanting to you can um, 
put some fabric on there um, if you want but because we've put two lots of masking tape on there I think that that's ample um, for reinforcing that spine now all that's left to do is to fill that up so um, again it's exactly like I've done over here um, and you have got your pockets to fill in over there with your postcard so I've put in those three um, and again on the other side put in some more of the postcards there as well so that beautiful one and there's one at the back here as well I've just backed those onto card um, so those can go in there Right. And then just filling that up with all the different bits of ephemera that remain from the kit. So there's lots. Um, I've also put in, they had a little file folder in there as well. So I quite like that. Um, and I've just stenciled a bit on the in the middle there. And I've put that in there as well. So you've got plenty that can go in here from the kit and I like having this because when you are if you do actually do any journaling in your journal it's really nice to have these bits and pieces available when you're wanting to decorate the pages so you've got your little notebook you could use uh, some of it in there or you might want to have an additional journal that you send with this altered file folder as well instead of just a notebook so the choices are yours all right so we have now got all the components done um, we finished off our um, little ephemera folder today um, and we have done the, the last component so what i'm going to do now in the very next episode is show you how to put together this last section so it won't be too long at all um, and we'll fit, finish off all the little um, bits and pieces and then you'll have your completed project so thank you everybody for joining me today. Um, I hope you've been having a lot of fun. I know you have. Um, and I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. Bye bye.